to churn the Milky Ocean. And when the Milky Ocean was churned, of course the story goes that various things started rising out and along with those various things Mahalakshmi emerged. And this is the reason why Mahalakshmi is called as the daughter of the ocean. And I mentioned it on the previous occasions too. That just as Mahalakshmi is called as the daughter of the ocean, you have Sita who is called as the daughter of Janaka. But really speaking, Sita was found by Janaka when he was plowing the field, the earth. The birth of Lakshmi is from the ocean, from the waters. The birth of Sita is from the earth. Another occasion which I want you to register is before Ram meets Sita. Vishwamitra has successfully handed over all the missiles, all the astras to Rama and Lakshmana. Rama and Lakshmana has protected the yajna which was going on in the Dandakarana in the forest, allowed the rishis to perform their austerities. Thus, in a way, Rama protects the rishi culture. But there is still something more to be done. And Vishwamitra leaves Rama and Lakshmana to Mithila, where the Dhanushya Yajna is being performed. Janaka has announced that he whosoever be able to string the bow of Shiva will be the groom whom Sita will choose. Will be the groom in whose neck Sita will put her garland. And as they are proceeding towards this Mithila, Rama and Lakshmana had no idea that they were going to be the participants. They had just the idea that Vishwamitra is going to Mithila and he is going to, both of these princes are going to only accompany him. So both of them go. And as they are going, they come across an, a hermitage which is abandoned which is empty and that is Gautama's hermitage. Gautama has left that place after cursing Ahalya. That Ahalya would stay, live over there as a rock. And Rama comes and Vishwamitra says, Rama, just touch that rock with your foot. Ahalya is waiting for that. You have to understand the symbolism behind it. There is much more conveyed. It is not that Rama is going to touch rocks, turning them into women. This is not the whole mission. The word Ahalya means Hala, means plow. In any agricultural society, the plow is very important because without plowing the land, agriculture is not possible. The very first revolution or the greatest change that human beings or the greatest discovery that human beings ever had is agriculture. When the people understood how to grow, not just wait for the fruits to grow on the plants, but when we started growing grains, 
एग्रीकल्चर अहल्या अ इज अ नेगेटिव पार्टिकल अ प्रिफिक्स एडेड टू हल एंड हल्या मीन्स द फेमिन जेंडर इट मीन्स अर्थ विच वॉज अनक्लोड अर्थ विच वॉज नेवर यूज फॉर एग्रीकल्चर अर्थ विच वॉज स्टील नॉट गिविंग ह्यूमन बींग्स वॉच शी कुड गिव इन जनकाज किंगडम जनका प्लोज द लैंड एंड सीता इज बॉर्न एंड बिफोर रामा मिथिला अहल्या becomes is released from the curse and of gautam and assumes her form again hala is a very important thing is born he comes to mithila and for the first time sita's eyes and rama's eyes meet and exactly this is what happens even when lakshmi emerges out of the samudra manthana out of the milky ocean she goes about seeing who is the groom whom i should choose look at that everything else which came out of the samudra manthana was chosen by people indra chose something even the amrita was also chosen was taken by the asuras bala but when lakshmi came though everybody desired her but nobody could choose her lakshmi chose sita chooses it is a swayamvara Sita chooses Lakshmi chooses nobody has the daring of taking her Ravana tried doing it and Ravana was destroyed in the whole process you can desire Lakshmi but you cannot force Lakshmi you can ask request you can desire you can want but lakshmi cannot be snatched lakshmi cannot be brought the whole thing is lakshmi chooses she chooses where to go and there is a whole list of her what do they say criteria that she has set where would she go and she goes and chooses narayana if you want to listen to what is the criteria though i have mentioned it earlier tomorrow is going to be lakshmi kalyanam and i am going to reiterate it if you want to listen to what is it that what what is that criteria that lakshmi has set to choose please be present here tomorrow morning when lakshmi chooses narayana she puts the garland around his neck and it is said in shrimad bhagavata mahapurana she keeps on looking at his chest she does not even look at his face into his eyes there is a very important message over here she keeps on looking at his chest and bhagwan vishnu understands what is it that she is saying he says this is the place for you to live come this is where you are asking and hence lakshmi is said to be living in the heart of narayana and why i am bringing this particular occasion to you is to make you understand one more thing do lakshmi is seated in the heart of narayana there is one occasion where lakshmi springs out of his heart and i want you to listen to this in mahabharata 
there is one sentence in Shri Krishna's mouth. Shri Krishna says, He Partha, Partha means Arjuna. This is not a sentence from Gita. It is in else other place. Bhagavan Shri Krishna says, Gita me ridayam Partha, He Partha. This Gita is my heart. Now, if you are able to take the clue that Bhagwan Narayana is indicating that this is what Lakshmi is. Gita me ridayam partha. This Gita is my ridaya and I am giving it to you. The place for Gita is not on your bookshelf. The place of Gita is in your Hridaya. If you can give that place to this knowledge, 